This video demonstrates the stoma site care of microvascular free flap tracheostomy patients. This video should be used in conjunction with the OPIC tracheostomy stoma care clinical procedure, which contains further information regarding the care of head and neck surgery tracheostomy sutures. Explain the procedure to the patient. Ensure that the patient is in a comfortable position. Prepare all necessary equipment. This should include routine tracheostomy PPE as per hospital policy, a dressing pack, normal saline sachet, wooden swab ended sticks, and a waste bag. Perform hand hygiene and put on PPE. Patients who have had microvascular free flap surgery will have the tracheostomy tube held in place by sutures through the tracheostomy flange rather than by tapes or ties. Do not place straps or tapes around the neck as these items may compromise the vascular supply to the flap. Do not remove the sutures until approved by the surgeon. Check at the start of each shift that the sutures are intact. The flanges should be appropriately secured with the sutures at all four points at a minimum to avoid accidental decannulation. There should be two sutures at the top and two sutures at the bottom of the flange. Clean the stoma with normal saline soaked swabs. Allow to air dry. This should be done at least once a shift or more frequently if indicated. Assess the stoma for pressure areas, infection, inflammation or pulsation. Notify the treating team if there are any concerns.